Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nestor Edits, aka the Nestor Productions, right here. Today, I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to do the how to add 3D text into a realistic picture. As you can see right here, you can see the little shadows under the text. And this is the picture I'm gonna be using today, and this is what we're gonna make. Just showing you how you can actually add 3D text and make it look like it's actually in the picture. And with by adding shadows and if I have time I will show you basically just how to add a little object and how to give it a shadow also in Photoshop okay to get started you want to open up 3ds max let me just reset this one okay you want to start off by getting the picture that you need or you're gonna want which I have located right here and just drag it into the perspective viewport and by doing that your picture is locked into place you can move the viewport around all you want but it will not move the actual picture after you've done that you want to go to plane make a box don't really doesn't matter what size I'll tell you why later but once you make the box you want to align it with the floor and you can you might want to check it because it is a little off compared to the actual render so you want to go to eight open up your render settings go to HDTV and go to 1280 by 720 and click render and that's good right there once you've done that you want to click M to open up your material editor change standard to made in shadow and drag it into your plane what that does is when you when you actually render this it will not render the whole plane as you can see right there it will only render any shadows that are put onto it which is what we're going to do right now first you want to we're going to add an object and a text just add a quick box right here no it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to have a box right there and then you want to add your text Just click it on there. Want to align your text first. Want to have it 90 degrees. Red. I mean 90 degrees. As you can see right there in the little yellows, you can see the degrees. Get as close to 90 as you can get. Right there. Or you can also just right click up here and set the amount. Once you've done that, you want to actually customize your text the way you're going to want it. So let me size this down right there turn it a little bit size it down a little bit more and then add an extrusion to give it some depth and let me just turn this also like that I'm gonna customize the text real quick pick any random text well a little bit more randomer than that why don't you use that one and uh, you want to make sure your text is on the plane oh my bad you want to make sure your text is on the plane as you can see right there it doesn't have to be exactly on as long as it's touching it because you don't want any floating text with a shadow right under it once you've done that, you want to make sure you have the text exactly where you're going to want it to be standing. So hit render. Uh, I'm going to make the text a little smaller. It looks To me, it looks a little bit too big. M remember, you want to have this realistic. Render one more time. Might want to move this a little bit back by moving it up to give it the depth look. That should be good right there. Once you've done that, the next step is easy. You just want to go to your lights, change from photometric to standard, and add a skylight. What skylight does is all it does is add shadows and a little lighting to the objects only. It doesn't actually add it to the environment. 
so you won't have you will not have like a really darkened picture around the corners around these corners so, and all it really does is add um the shadows which is really good for some things and not good for some other things you want to go make sure you have your render set up the way you want it and just hit render and you can see right there it, you can see the actual 3d text is into 1d and to fix that you just want to go to your skylight and check on cast shadows and you can render it and as you can see right there you have the shadows on the floor and it actually looks like the text and object is in the picture like this all could be a little bit better just by making a little bit more smart choices with the color you have and material you use on the text and object because you want the colors to kind of reflect the environment but you can figure that out for whatever picture you're using and now I'm just gonna show you how to make a little bit more 3D like I added that little guy right there so what you want to do is load up the picture you had just done uh, since I didn't render a picture of that I'm just gonna go ahead and use the old one I have and you want well I went on Google and just searched I just searched leaning guy and it came up with this picture so I'm just gonna use that guy I already um, cut him out and everything and I'm just gonna put him in the picture what you want to do is make sure his feet right there is next to the text and you want to hit control T hold shift and size him down and just move him until he actually looks like he's leaning against it like right there once you've done that you want to create a new layer and you want to move the layer between the first one and the background so you can have layer 2 right there and then you want to zoom in once you zoom in to right to about how you can see the guy in the text you want to go to your brush tool right click and click on the open part and you do have this you just gotta go to drop shadow brushes and it'll bring you up with these and you want to select at least size 13 and just have make sure you have layer 2 selected and just color around him try to actually gather his figure you know that little thing right there for his knee that's sticking out a sombrero you know, give it a little bit back like that what you you want to drag it out a little bit more once you've done that you want to go to opacity and just pull it down a little bit to where you can actually see it you can still see it but it from far away it looks like a shadow and then once you zoom out you got your guy right there looks like he's actually standing next to the letters and as well you can use a real life picture I just didn't take my time to actually search for a picture but you can see right there we've added text and an object 3d of we added it to a realistic picture and we also added a little guy just to give it a little bit more of the realistic look but yeah that's it for this tutorial um, leave a comment rate subscribe and you know just hit up any suggestions you have for speed edits tutorials any questions you might have if you want I will do might start doing um, tutorials for intros but those might take like at least 15 minutes to be able to do but yeah if you have any videos like you can send me links to pictures you want me to show you how to make um, intros you want me to show you how to make I will be glad to actually do the research for you and then put an easy tutorial on how to do it but yeah for now on that's it and just comment rate and subscribe